What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents alike? This your boy, Lightless Fair and Prince, coming at y'all once again. I know it's been a few days since I last uploaded, so bear with me, like I said, because although you have time on your hands, so unfortunately, your time can be consumed with other things, other matters, or in my case, other people who I was catching up on consultation and whatever with. But that's neither here nor there. It's a brand new week. Um, and I'm going to give my legal dis disclaimer first, and I'm going to give my general disclaimer. So what I'm getting ready to say does not constitute legal advice whatsoever. The information is solely for informational and educational purposes only. It's, it's, it's strictly really educational. And I wouldn't even call it information because it's just some things that you can go research and you'll look it up yourself. But here's my general disclaimer. If you're around children, please remove them from your immediate vicinity. Now, as I said before, other deals, the older ones, it's something they need to learn, but the babes, ah, take them out, take them out. Anyway, this is called the dreaded truth about foreclosure. The reason why I did this video is because I did it out of courtesy for one of my subs who emailed me to try to elaborate a little bit more on the primary basis of it. And the primary basis of it is, yes, it is a very ugly legal process. However, it is not inevitable. So this is a generalistic situation. Don't look at this video as a solution. Look at it as an explanation, not just a, okay, well, I got it now. Don't do that. Please do not get it misconstrued because that is not the point of my video. The point of my video is for the information that lies behind what remedies you could research or you could apply that would stave off these thieving ass bitches. Now, the thing about foreclosure is a very open-ended on both sides legal process that people go through in court. Now, unfortunately, whenever you get courts involved, just know that things are going to get very legal. And things need to be explained. So this is the reason why I'm putting this video up here. So you can learn exactly what tricks and traps these individuals try to plan against you. I don't care who you're loan, what your loan situation. Don't care about none of that. Please do not leave none of that in the comment section. Keep it to yourself or email me. Don't put none of your personal business in my comment section. Because I will delete it. Email me. It's in the video description. But anyway, the one thing I try to explain to a lot of people is that Irrespective of what you may have known or may have not known, which you may know now, is that all mortgages are governed by reg what's called Regulation Z. Now, a lot of people who are avid researchers and a lot of people who study and a lot of people who do their, 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 their due diligence to study, great. You're going to go find it on your own. Trust me. But there is... Um, I'm going to give a general explanation on it, what it is definitively. And Regulation Z is a law that protects consumers. Listen to what I said. Regulation Z is a law that protects consumers, the word consumer, like we just eat all day, from predatory lending practices. Let me say that one more time. Regulation Z is a law that protects consumers from predatory lending practices, also known as the Truth in Lending Act. The law requires lenders to disclose borrowing costs so consumers can make more informed choices. Let me say that one more time. It says, oh, somebody tried to call me. I ain't answered that phone. It ain't important. The law requires lenders to disclose borrowing costs so consumers can make informed choices. So, if you don't have full disclosure in regards to what you're dealing with in, in your business, as far as your personal business is concerned in regards to your mortgage, your mortgage or whatever loan, loan company you may be dealing with, then they're often going to try to take your court. This is what I try to tell people. It's a three-step program that you can do to keep yourself out of hot water. Number one, what you do, don't put off your paperwork. If they send you some documentation in any way, shape, or form, I don't care how it comes. It could come by Harry Potter's owl. I don't give a fuck. Don't put it off because now the clock is ticking from the day you received it. The legal process has begun 
once it touches your postal box, P.O. box, or whatever you use, the, it's it's begun. It's on now. It's on. It's just like you in a fight and the motherfucker steal on you. You're like, okay, it's on now. Are you going back down? No, it's time to fight. Number two, research properly the documentation they sent you and analyze it carefully. Analyze what they sent you. Learn how to become a magnifying glass reader. This is what I always use as a term when I was in college. Magnifying glass readers means I read the fine print. I don't care what you're saying for the overhead because if you notice different fonts indicate different things. Look at all the little things. And then third, address the party. Once you address the party on the issue, now this is not disputing because we didn't make it to court yet. We're having a discussion. We're having a meeting of the minds because it's a contract. We're negotiating a contract for you to try to take something from me or to try to get something from me or to try to deprive me of something. Because most people don't understand in this system, the legal system is designed to deprive you of what you got. It's a robber baron, period. Now, they'll let a couple little people win every now and again because it keeps the frequency at a normalcy. But when it comes down to foreclosure, it's strictly civil. It's not criminal. So trust me, you're not going to go to jail, but you could be placed in a place worse than jail because at least people in jail have a place to go. People who are foreclosed 90% of the time don't even have a place to go. So that's relatively worse than jail. Trust me, you're talking to somebody who went through a lot of shit in life. So I share my experience. But this law protects consumers. It didn't say it protected the company. Notice what it said. If you read the fine line, it didn't protect the company. It said that they had to fully disclose what took place as far as this transaction is concerned. So basically, what took place in regards to the transaction, you got to give me every motherfucking piece of documentation because it's a civil matter. And guess what? Civil matters means that you can put a motion in for discovery. It's a lawsuit. Straight. So I want to see what you, I want to see what you're going to bring to court. And please don't hold nothing back. Because when I get there, for me to fight from a roof over my head, I'm going to whoop your ass with this with, with this double-edged sword. Please don't hold nothing back. And please, before we go to court, don't have nobody call me. Don't have nobody call my phone. Don't have nobody sit here and send me no documentation. Just get ready to go to court. And we'll talk about it in there. Because now we're going to get everything on the record. And make sure, I tell people all the time, the one thing you have to understand is that according to Truth and Lending Act, every contract that you sign can be amended. It's not, quote unquote, written in stone. If, I'm going to use this as an allegorical sense. Just like in the Ten Commandments, that was supposed to be the commandments that was supposed to keep the Israelites basically bound to their creator's will. The first set was broken. You know what I mean? Times they had to rewrite laws and amend laws. That shit, man's law does not stay the same. It's often twisted and convoluted for it to basically move in their favor. Yes, we know that. We know that shit. We're not stupid. We're just like those people who know the, the, the meaning behind the allegory. But don't let nobody take that from you. If they're going to take it from you, take it from you fair and square. Don't take it from you through deceitful practices. So you need to disclose me, to me, the original contract we signed. And then I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I'll give you, if we go to court within a month, I'll give you 10 days out of the month for you to respond. Just to give you enough rope to hang yourself. You didn't respond. Oh, oh well, who's at fault? Not me. So when you go to court... You have what they call failure to state a claim upon which really can be granted. So you can file a motion for that. Yes, you can. Facts. I'm not getting dry, so I got to eat some fruit. Fuck it. The green is probably a good part. I'll take it off. Once you state a claim upon... A motion of, upon a claim upon which relief cannot be granted, they have no win. Cease and desist. You didn't state a claim. You, 
upon which relief can be granted. You're just saying something. But most people don't understand through canon law, we don't judge things in the realm of conscience when you go to court. No. Just because you said something don't mean it's true. That just means basically now you got to provide the proof and evidence that it is. And do you have that? If you do so, bring it forth. And that's the thing that a lot of people going through foreclosure do not know. And you learn that in less than 11 minutes. Facts. So I ain't going to go on these long rants, 20, 30 minutes, trying to guru you. No. See, if you come to my school, my university of conscience, not no corporation, you will, you're going to learn today. And yes, I do eat the whole strawberry. You'll learn. Because the tactics that you're using don't work against them. Because you've learned from sources that have been flawed. Flawed because the general basic understanding has been lacking. So, since it's been removed, it's sort of like baking a cake that isn't sweet. You know, it's sort of like black people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Melanated people, I should say. Excuse my language. Pardon me, ancestors. It's sort of like melanated people. It's like when they go to a restaurant and they might get an order fucked up and then they, they, they reach on the table and they think they're going to get down and they drink some unsweetened tea. Sort of like that. <laughs> you spit that shit smooth out your mouth. Straight. Oh, the betrayal of unsweet tea. <laughs> That's why I drink it to this day because I ain't had no choice but to like it. My restaurant told me one time they ain't even had no sugar. I ain't want... Hey, look. Gotta do... You gotta hydrate yourself somehow. But it's your job from that point forward to make sure you make it how you want. Just using that as a basic example. So, what you have to also understand is this. You have to stay on top of your shit. See, the average person's response is to tuck their tail and go hide. That's not going to help you. That's not going to help you. It's not going to help you. I'm telling you right now, the day you go into court, you are going to fucking lose. And I'm just, this is blunt. You're going to lose because you, you put forth no action to save yourself from the claim. And now it's just like, well, what you got? You ain't got nothing? Well, shit, rules of favor. Yes. I see they have plenty of time. One thing about if you want change in your life, you can't be indolent. You can't freeze up. So you've been Condition in certain type of ways to make you believe that you're going to always lose when you go to court. I said in one of my previous videos, fear paralyzes initiative. As long as you're fearful, you ain't going to do shit. But if you're knowledgeable and you're proactive about it, you're going to do something about it. And this is the reason why they don't teach a lot of this stuff and they want to suppress it. You can't suppress it. You can't suppress how a system was built and still stands on. You can, you can hide it all you want, but sometimes some of us have three eyes. That's I've been searching this shit for a long time. I could brag in my career on that one. Straight. But, Regulation Z protects the consumer, not the corporation. You better learn your protection. You better learn it fast. Let me even go a little bit further. I'm sorry, I'm enjoying my fruit. I had a late lunch. 
I was a little bit busy. What triggers Regulation Z? Payment information and advertisements also trigger in turn requiring additional disclosures. Regulation Z prohibits misleading terms in open and credit advertisements. What are the elements? Protect consumers against inaccurate and unfair credit billing and credit card practices. Provides consumers with rescission rights, which means you can revoke your contract. Provide for rate caps on certain dwelling secured loans. Ooh. We getting juicy. <laughs> we got real juicy on that one. To the wise who have ears here. I'm going to read it one more time, just in case you missed it. Provide for rate caps. Which means you can't go past a certain rate. On certain dwelling secure loans. And, hold on, it's like you're cutting off. Fuck, hold on. Impose limitations on home equity lines of credit and closed home mortgages. I don't think I need to really say nothing else. Anybody that got two ounces of common sense, fucking contact me. Agent, you can kiss my ass because these are rules written against y'all, so. <laughs> Put y'all out of business. In less than 17 minutes. I'm sorry, I'm enjoying my blueberries, so pardon me from being a little bit too greedy. But, I'm going to take the top of this one. This one looks a little bit shady. But it's the truth. I just wish more people knew this stuff. Like, accurately. But, that's why I always say in my video descriptions, serious inquiries only. When I say serious Serious inquiries only. I think that everybody, irrespective of your education level or irrespective of your standing in society, knows what the word serious is. When you're talking about serious B and serious A in space, you're talking about serious. Trust me, these folks run from this shit. Oh, yeah. It works against debt collectors, too. <laughs> I proved the points time and time again. Serious. Now, everybody's, now let's say this, everybody's situation is different. So don't think that it's going to be solved overnight because it didn't happen overnight. It happened over a course of time. All you have to do is reverse the curse over a course of time. Time works on your side when you use time wisely. You stay in that bed, keep the lights off, don't worry about getting put on the street. Don't worry about it. It will happen. <laughs> you got to get active. You better get real active. Active means doing something. Yeah, my big ass roots out. Whoop. <laughs> but now you get what I'm saying in regards to the dreaded truth about foreclosure. Because the remedy was always out there. You just didn't know about it. All praise to the creator for me finding it for you. So you can know exactly where to go look for it. Now, there are certain legal steps and processes you must go through. There are certain forms you must fill out. There are certain ways you must present your motions. There's no magic wand to this shit. The legal system is complicated. You're talking about somebody who spent a better part of their adult life dealing with it. But guess where I'm at? Eating blueberries. <laughs> you try agents, you didn't win. So, take my word with a grain of salt. You don't believe what I have to say? You got a mind to think for yourself? Go research it. I go back to my original point. It says it protects consumers, not the corporations. 
They have no protection against that. The reason why the law was created because they were using abusive deceptive practices to trick you into that stuff anyway. So you think the system don't monitor the system? You got the game fucked up. You don't read the law correctly. That's facts. So, let me get my melanated ass up off this this, this, this feed. Because my back has been hurting like a motherfucker. <laughs> A little back of a, like a month of them. Well, uh, for the past few days, so that's the reason I've been trying to take my time on this shit. Cause, whew, sitting down is great, but standing up is hell. But you know what? Irrespective of what it may be, how it feels, I never thought I'd see the day where I experienced back pain. And you know what? I think my dad gave me that shit. <coughs> Straight. I just see him grab his back every fucking. And now, lo and behold, sheesh. <coughs> he said, I'll do you a favor on the other side, but you gotta take my pain. Golly. But it's fine. <laughs> so. In conclusion, hopefully you got what I said. Hopefully you understand what I say. And when I leave my email in the, in the video description, I ask for two things. Two things only. Keep it simple and leave a phone number. And leave me a time for I can, when I can call you. That's three things. But I went a little bit overboard. Pardon me. But, yeah, that's it. I don't need to hear the story. I hear the story at another time. Schedule a consultation. Talk about it. We'll take it from there. See what you can and can't do. See if you're damned or you ain't damned. It all depends on your inactions or your, your actions or your inactions. It all depends on you. What you do. See, usually I learn at an early age that often people come looking for a solution but they don't even provide or try to strive for a solution. So now they're looking for one, but they, they, they're looking for a guaranteed solution. Let me tell you something. There's nothing guaranteed in this life but happiness and death. Not taxes. You get around those. Trust me. But happiness and death. Straight. You can guarantee yourself happiness, but you can make yourself happy. That's a guarantee. See, agencies always tell it backwards. No, it's not true. Taxes. Fuck out of here. That's a piece of paperwork. Happiness comes from the inside. And unfortunately, passing on is something that we were born into this realm to experience. Just make sure you get your fucking work done before you leave. Simple. You owe nobody nothing but the truth. Peace, light, love. Y'all take care. And agents... <laughs> Y'all stuck here. <laughs> stop trying to stop other light beers from getting up out of here. Because you're in the darkness, not us. We're in the light. Take care.